welcome to Baguio City. Again, it's side B with Ate B. Para sa mga laking Baguio na at nakapunta dito many times, of course, alam nyo na ang landmark nito. Ang very famous grotto. Pero alam nyo ba na ang Lourdes Grotto is located in Mirador? And have you fully explored Mirador? Pula ko lang, baka hindi pa. Matara, samahan nyo ako. But before that, of course, bago kayo, kayo, kayo itour, please click on that subscribe button, that alert button, para alam nyo kapag meron tayong mga bagong postings. Tara, let's explore Mirador together. Of course, kaya Bernadette yung pangalan ko dahil pinangalan ako ng mama ko kay Saint Bernadette dahil nga feast day niya, February. Eh, di ba February din tayo po? Grotto. Dati ang dahaming tao dito, syempre. Pero ngayon, mas tahimik dahil alam naman natin, pandemic. But it's also a very good time to pray and have a retreat here at Mirador. Yes! Of course, we stations of the cross. Wow, what is that? Anti-bio always say. In this new normal, actually, marami mga bagay na magpapaisip tayo. In this new normal, we are invited to go feel the breeze, go outdoors more often because of our situation that is really safe outdoors. But as we can see, ang ganda, in this new normal, we are also invited to look into our hearts. Kaya ang ganda itong lugar na to. Kasi pinagsama, it's outdoor and it's a quiet space for everyone. Japanese occupied the villa, and when uh, Yamashita learned about the landing of MacArthur in the Korean War, uh, MacArthur divided the forces to two, one going to Manila and one going to Baguio. But uh, in, uh, MacArthur did know that Yamashita already ordered the Japanese troops to move to Bonta. So when uh, MacArthur uh, arrived in Baguio, they thought the Japanese were still here, so they bombed Baguio. Uh, and destroyed much of the city, including the old uh, villa house of the Jesuits. But when they were clearing one of the bombs, they found did that explode. That's the, so they neutralized that bomb, and that's the bell. That's the detonator side. Okay. So uh, they, the Jesuits cut the bomb into two, and repurposed the bomb, made them into two bells, and the bells were used to call them to prayer classes. <laughs> When the Jesuits, the, this is where the Jesuits were expelled from China in 1982 okay. because Mao Tse Tung man took over China to became communist so the missionaries were expelled so they came to this state in Mirador, they occupied that for 15 years and last year we decided to create a monument here because last year was the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II so uh, I designed this memorial so we have the Kong, the Americans and the Japanese story, uh, the, the, for the story is from the mundane to the secret, and then the Cordillera Terraces. Oh, wow. Okay. What do you call this monument? Uh, Peace Memorial. So, <laughs> we against COVID. So this is a healing space for everybody. North, south, 
East and West from all over the world. It's a community healing together. Tapayan, ito ay isang ritual din naman as peace for the Cordilleras. Ganun pala yun. Time also with uh, to get in touch with the self. The lawene, time to be in touch with the self, and then time to be in touch with God. So it's 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 really a time away from the ordinary usual time when you are busy. So it's a time to have quality time with the Lord by withdrawing to a place. Because it's important that you withdraw to a place, not your usual place of occupation. So you are you really have time to focus. So number one uh, uh, in terms of a retreat element is awareness. It's first is awareness of what's happening within you and awareness of your own uh, work and other concerns. Kasi part, kasi that's the basic prayer. Uh, prayer, we, we, we define prayer as something complicated. No, so prayer is very simple. It's an awareness of how God has been guiding you in your life. Kaya kailangan palaging kumonekta. Actually, parang dito ba, aayusin mo yung signal mo. Kasi minsan nawawala tayo sa signal, di ba? So, ito yung very Cordillera inspired. Si Father, Father Joe, ay kasweta. Pero kahit hindi kasweta, pwede dito. Kahit hindi katoliko, pwede dito. And welcome daw dito. magawa pa sa baba. Pero kung kinakwento si Father, ano, minsan meron din walk dito, the St. Joseph walk. So, ang nakikita natin ay a forest ng a bamboo forest. Ano bang turo sa atin ng bamboo? Resiliency. Remember? Palagi sinasabi, it's better to bend than to break. That is resiliency. And sa so experience natin, hindi lang sa pandemic na ito, but we know that we Filipinos are very, very resilient. This walking stick is from a bamboo. And that is our tour of Mirador here in Baguio. Uh, what a beautiful experience. Again, it invites us to go outdoor, but also to look into our hearts and into our lives as well. And of course, reflect on our lives and our relationship with God. A must visit place here in Baguio City. So, tada! -da. Oh, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel and click on that alert button para kapag meron tayo mga bagong post, ay malaman din ninyo. That's I did. Ati B, kita kits ulit. God bless. Keep on